this is going to be the first in what will probably be a couple videos about the cross product. Um, I'm going to tell you what it what it is or what it does, and then we'll we'll um, we'll we'll get to a point where we can take some cross products and make some other observations. Um, but uh, the cross product is a way to take two vectors um, and find one that is orthogonal to both of them. So what I'd like you to do is actually reproduce what I have in these two photos right here. Um, I want you to take two pencils and hold them by the erasers and send them out at different angles. Um, and then um, take a pen or some other, you know, something that's not that pencil, those two pencils, and make it so that it sticks at a right angle to the two of them. One thing I want you to notice is that um, so, so like these, these two right here are like almost flat in my hand and this one is going up and I can pivot my hands around and, um, change, uh, the way that they're all pointing. But no matter where the two blue pencils are here, I can always create this perpendicular vector. Now it could go up like this, or it could go down. So um, when I do my cross product, I actually have a way to either get the one that goes up or the one that goes down. Um, but I want you to see, um, by holding those pencils in your hand and by creating that, that one that the purple one that comes out perpendicularly from the other two, what I mean when I say it's a way to obtain a vector, the purple one, given the two blue ones. So hopefully you did that. Um, and now we will talk a little bit about um, how to get there. So the first thing I should say is that there is a formula for the cross product. Um, well, sorry, I take the components of the two blue vectors, those pencils, and I can get the component or the components of the pen. So the, the formula for the cross product is like pretty terrible. Um, some people like to use it, but um, I think it's much easier to um, to do it using matrices. So um, zoom in. I'm gonna have to teach you some tricks and some things that you can do with matrices. Um, we're gonna teach two by two and three by three determinants. Um, a two by two determinant, which we usually just write DEET. Um, is super simple to um, find. So say A was equal to, this is a matrix A, uh, 3, 4, 2, 6. Well, the determinant of A is equal to, um, I'm going to show you notation first. If I put absolute value bars around a matrix, then that is actually representative of, of taking the determinant. So what I can do is write larger absolute value bars and then take the numbers from this matrix here, three, four, two, six, and this is the same as this is the same as this if A is that guy. So all three of these things are saying the same thing. So to do the D of A, it's really simple. I go this direction, multiply, and make them positive, and then this direction, multiply, and make them negative, and then I add the two. So the first uh, product there is three times six. So when I do my DEET, oops, when I do my DEET, I get three times six, and then I get minus four times two. Um, so what's that? Um, that is 18 minus eight, which gives me 10. So there's all kinds of significance of the determinants when you're looking at different matrices and stuff. But for now, we just, I just want you to be able to take them. So I'm going to give you two others to do. Um, the first one is, um, I want you to find the DEET of four, one, two, one. And then I want you to also find the DEET of, um, let's see, negative 3, negative 1, and 5, 2. So go ahead, hit pause, and find these two determinants. And then I'll hit play, and the answers will be up. So hit pause, hit pause, hit pause. 
Click on the answers. You should have gotten 2 for the first one and negative 1 for the second one. So I do my product positive and then minus my product backwards. So this guy minus that guy. 4 minus 2 is 2. This one just had a couple negatives to deal with. So um, we get a negative 6 plus a 5, which gives us negative 1. So that's, that should be simple. Let's do a 3 by 3 determinant. Because that's what we're going to need to do these cross products. Okay, 3 by 3 DEET. Boom. Um, there are, there's a pattern that you need to know. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. I always describe this as a checkerboard where like they're opposites um, and you know, they're arranged like a checkerboard with red and black. Um, so um, if you were to do a 10 by 10 determinant, you would follow the same pattern except for it would extend out much further. Um, so um, that is part of what we're going to do. I'll refer to that in a moment. And to show you how we do a 3 by 3 determinant, I'm just going to do one. So I'm going to do the DEET for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, um, I know it's not super creative at all, um, but I chose these because um, all these numbers are different. And if I write a five, you know it came from this. And if I write a three, you know it came from that. So um, here's how we do it. Equals. Um, the way you do a three by three determinant is you break it down into three two by two determinants. If I wanted to do a 10 by 10 determinant, I would break it down into um, 10 9 by 9s, which would be broken down into 9 8 by 8s, and so on and so forth. Um, or in that case, I would probably hopefully just use a computer or a calculator. But um, to do this, um, I'm going to write my DEET pieces, right? So write that. That's my first one. That's my, I'm going to give a little bit more space. That's my second one, and that's my third one. So each of these are going to be a two by two determinant. Now, this guy goes there. This guy goes here, and this guy goes there. So I'm going to put my one times, and I'm going to put my two times, and I'm going to put my three times. Now, um, here's where the checkerboard piece comes in. See the plus, minus, plus? Well, this guy is positive. Then this thing here needs to be negative, and then this one is going to be positive. I'm not writing the positive on this one because it's the first term. Now, um, let me think about how I can do this. So let's do, I'm going to figure out what goes in this box right here. This box, this determinant box right here, has the 1 on it. So what I'm going to do is highlight out the two, the pieces right there, the column, and the, and the row that have that um, 1 in it. That will be that row and this column. Do you see that if I highlight those, then there are, uh, there's, a squ there's four numbers remaining, a 5, a 6, an 8, and a 9. Well, those are the numbers that go in here, 5, 6, 8, 9, to do that determinant. And then, and then I'm going to do that determinant there. So next, we'll undo. Whoops, I can't undo. Um, my next step, I'll do this DEET the way we did up there. For down here, I got to put four numbers in here. I got the negative two. The negative came from the checkerboard. The two came from this. So in order to fill in what goes in right here, I do the same thing. I'm going to go that column or that row and then this column. Notice there are four numbers left over. So I take them in the order in which they're there, which is four, six, seven, nine. And that's going to be my middle DEET. 
And the last one here, the three, will I go to the three, I highlight out its row, I highlight out its column, and then I, I've got four numbers left, four, five, seven, eight. So I've got four, whoa, four, five, eight, and now each of these, there's going to be a determinant. So I'm going to go this way and that way with a plus and a minus, and this way and that way with a plus and a minus, and same thing with the other one. Let me give myself some space, and I'm actually going to get rid of those pluses and minuses. So um, what we get is uh, 1 times, all right, 5 times 9 minus 6 times 8 minus 2 times 4 times 9 minus 6 times 7 and then plus 3 times, and each of these little parentheses are just the determinants of these square matrices as if it was a problem like one of these up here. So I get 3 times, what do I get? 4 times 8 minus 5 times 7. I'm pretty sure that I did this right, but from there we do a bunch of math. A bunch of basic arithmetic, multiplication, addition, subtraction, lot of stuff, blah, blah, blah. And we get down to this and we get zero. Now, having a um, determinant equal to zero is significant, but it, it's not what we're talking about in this course. And it's not what we need for, um, for uh, cross products. So what does it mean? It just means that a determinant is zero. So I want you to try one now. So um, you're going to do the DEET of um, 2, 1, 4, 3, 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, bar. Now, um, I would like you to pause and try this, and then um, I will just put all the work up, and I will go through it quickly. So please pause and see if you can replicate what we just did up there. Don't forget the checkerboard. Oh, 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 oh this negative, the thing that gets missed the most. So go ahead, do it. Okay, the answer is, drum roll please, da -da 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 -da, nine. I'm gonna go through very quickly because I think it would be good for you to be able to see me do it instead of me just talking about it. So I'm gonna take the top row, I'm gonna go two, bar, bar, and then I'm gonna go minus from the checkerboard, one, bar, bar. And then I'm going to take the 4 from the top, plus from the checkerboard, 4, bar, bar. Now, I'm going to cover up with my finger the 2 column and row. That gives me these guys. So, I get 0, 2, 2, 3. Then I cover up the 1 pieces. So I get a 3 and then a 2, I skip that 0. And then a 1 and a 3, I skip the 2. And now I do the four, and that gives me three, zero, one, two. From there, um, that gives me two times this deet here is negative four, minus one times the next deet is gonna be nine minus two, plus four times the next deet is gonna be uh, six, minus, oh, that's nice, because the neck back piece is zero. So what's that give me? Um, negative eight, um, minus seven, plus 24, which if I haven't messed it up, is nine. All right, so hopefully you feel pretty comfortable with um, one, that the cross product is gonna try to get me this purple pen, and two, what a two by two deed is, and more importantly, what a three by three deed is, and how to calculate it. And in the next video, we will, um, we will start working some actual cross products.